I love holly. I see it as like a, a symbol of protection. I see it as a symbol of strength. It is an evergreen. It is one of the few evergreens that exist and are still able to gather light outside of the pines. As you can see, they're leafed. And on these leaves are little tiny spikes because they know, as evolution has granted them, that they're a prime target to be forged off of. So I think it's beautiful and it's a sign that they've evolved to have these little spikes on the leaf that just protect it. And I feel like it's a, a statement to those who are aware that if, you, if you're gonna stand out, make sure that you're protected. Make sure that you're strong enough to stand out, strong enough to survive, and you have some sort of protection that surrounds you. The golden light is, more so silver light is just beginning to cast itself throughout the landscape. One thing I wanted to just talk about is if you are in a forest, very deeply in a forest, and you just listen very intently, the forest will speak to you. I know I sound crazy, but it will lead you to certain places you'll get like this random feeling or desire to go a certain way that you weren't really gonna go and find something amazing. Or just just feel the energy. And a lot of times the forest will just reveal things to you. So as we descend into the, uh, the darkness of the valley before we head back this evening, I am, uh, I am seeking what the forest is desiring to tell me. This is just truly amazing. The stillness, the shivering, the shimmering silver of the hemlock. We're very deep down in the valley now.
you guys have enjoyed this beautiful experience here in the woods, here in the forest, in the winter. I'm going to soak in the uh, last light of the day. Just truly take it in. Connect, bond with the forest, and then head out. Hope you guys enjoy this series going forward. I'm super excited. I'm talking slow just because I'm just overwhelmed right now. I feel so much energy and so much peace. And my lips are a little cold. All is well.